Lil Bree, tell him to play your track when you're ready. All right, you can play the track. This your girl Bree. This your girl Bree. Straight up out the Mace Town Street. I was nervous, because I'm like, how many people are behind this glass? Like, is it two or three, or is it like 200? Is it 100? I was just ready to get this over with. <laughs> we out here wood grain gripping, plus we be tipping on foes. We screwed. We screwed. <laughs> Scraping plates all up and down, 288. We screwed up forever. So as I'm performing, my volume on the track starts to go down, lower and lower and lower. And I'm kind of confused. I'm like, what's going on? So thug, he got the tad and not the ghetto. What? Then my mic started to go out. So I knew this wasn't going to be a good performance. Like, I was so pissed off. Who want to say something about this? Yeah, Little Bree, I hated her style. She was very serious most of the time. She just gave off a bad vibe. It seemed like she took, like, way too many breaks. That's normal. Bree doesn't mess up like that, but because her mic went out, she looked angry, and that kind of put Bree at a disadvantage because Jermaine always says first impressions are everything. What's going on? Because your beat did get really low. Real low. All right, if you don't like Lil Bree, raise your hands in the air. Lil Bree had technical difficulties with the mic and the music, but as an artist, you can't let the frustration show to the audience, so I'm curious to see how she handles the criticism this week. Ricky, step forward. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Ricky. Hey, <laughs> I just see mirrors, and you just can't see whoever's on the other side. I was like, OK, this is going to be easy then. I don't even got to look nobody in the eye. It's just looking at myself in the mirror. Fighting over boys, you a bird, no, no. Before I go that way, I ride a ride, no, no. Labels trying to lock me down, that's a JoJo. Light shining on me, looking like a po-po. You know, for me, she's not up to par with Rapunzel. I'm so tight. Look at me. I can do that. 40 too. I cannot do what my daughter does. If you get in paper, stack it tall like me. All right, who wants to talk about Ricky? It was just, like, really fun. I really liked her. I don't, I don't, the thing that she can work on is, like, enunciation. Her outfit is just that she'd, like, be laughing about girly stuff, but her raps are different. Okay. Ricky Biddy, the focus group liked her style, but if Ricky wants to really win over this focus group, she has to work on her lyrics and the clarity. Rapunzel stepped to the mic. Hey, what's up? Last week was exciting. Like, I'm number one, it feels great. I feel like the only person that may not have felt that way may have been Ricky, but it is what it is, so. I'm just gonna for that number one this week. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, caught it. Do it on my own, no assist. Try to take shots, but they miss. We're a chick with a high class twist. Beauty kills, try to never get this miss. Uh. Rapunzel's music, if that song played on the radio, that would be turned off so quick. To me, I, th I think she's whack. Nails on fleek, that's fire. Rapunzel on the beat, that's fire. Ow. <laughs> All right, who wants to say anything about Rapunzel? She could have done a little bit more dancing instead of just like, the same move. I loved everything about Rapunzel. I think this is the type of rap that I would listen to. They save the best for last. OK. See, this is why Rapunzel seems to be number one on the hit list, because the kids seem to love her. The only thing the focus group is asking for from Rapunzel is more dance moves. All right, artists, and thank you. Um, head on back to the house. I'll see you guys later. Thank Hi. you. Appreciate you. <sighs> What? Leave. We just performed like we didn't hear no feedback. I have no idea what's going next, what the assignment's going to be. Like, no, I need answers. <laughs>